Hey everyone, welcome to this fourth episode in our video series on the Vistaprint website builder. I'm Ellen Greer, a product manager here at Vistaprint Digital. Last time we talked about layouts, today we're going to talk about global changes that are going to affect the look and feel of your entire website. So here I am in the Vistaprint website builder tool and what I want to show you is this drawer over here that says edit theme. The first thing is your global header. So this is the block right at the very top of your website. It typically will contain your business name, the navigation to other pages on your site, and maybe an icon or a photo. Pretty simple. So there are a few options here that we offer you and you can change them. Similarly is the global footer. So right now, it's this little orange rectangle. You can change it to have these social media links or to have this map and you can set the map to go to the address of your business. And each of these is going to show up on the bottom of every single page across your website. These are global blocks. The next thing I wanna show you is going to be the color set. So as you know, our website is very orange for basketball. If you want to change these colors, you can select something custom or go with one of the other recommended color sets that Vistaprint designers have provided for you. I'm going to try this one that looks pretty blue. Okay, now the website is super blue. Do I like that? Yes. Does it work with basketball? No. So I can either click that undo button back in the builder or you'll see for your template, the recommended color set is always sitting right there if you wanna to return to the original design. Next thing I wanna show you is the font pairing. Right now, pretty much all the titles across your site are going to be in this first font, Lato, and pretty much all the paragraphs are gonna be in this font, Meriwether. If you've made a specific change to a specific text element, your change will be preserved. That's not gonna be overwritten by these changes to the global font pairing. So I can either select a different font for just my titles and just my paragraphs right here, or I can go with another recommended pairing. Let's try this one. All right, so you can see that our big text element right here is now a very different font from what it looked like before. Returning to the theme, we're going to keep going with the theme layout. This is where you can adjust the placement of the global header. You can adjust the content width and the content position. For example, we're going to add a sidebar to the right of the page. You can see, similar to our global header, this global sidebar will also appear on every single page on your site. You can put any element in the column in this sidebar. You can also go back to the edit theme and theme layout menu and adjust that to get rid of the global header. For example, now your sidebar only. Let's put the header back in. So the next thing I wanna show you is adjusting your website from full width to fixed width. So right now our website is full width. That means that all of the elements, columns, and blocks are going to take up the maximum amount of space available on your website visitor's screen or mobile device. Fixed width is a slightly different style. You can see that this exposes more of the background image and keeps all of your text, all of your image elements, really all of your content on your site towards the center of the page. You can adjust the position all the way to the left or all the way to the right. You can put it back in the center and you can return it to full width at any time. Once again, this affects every single page on your website. The last thing I wanna show you is the theme background. So here in our website, you can see this illustration. It looks like a bouncing basketball and it's behind the blocks that contain our elements. These blocks are transparent and the background image is sitting fixed. In the edit theme drawer, you can click theme background and you can see that illustration of the bouncing basketball and you can see that it's set to fill and set to fixed. Now I want to change this to a completely different image. I'm going to click change background image. 
and that opens the image drawer over on the right. Select a different image. I can use one of the photos I uploaded in my images or search the stock library. Let's go with this picture of the court. I can adjust the crop and save changes. I can now change the transparency of that orange overlay or even change it to a different color. Let's get rid of the overlay. Here we are back on the page and you can see your new theme background image of the basketball court sitting behind the blocks and elements on your web page. All right. So to recap, today we talked about the edit theme drawer and making global changes to the look and feel of your website. We talked about the global header and the global footer. We talked about the color pairing, the fonts, the overall theme layout, and the background image. This should empower you to go really adjust and customize the look and feel of your website in the Vistaprint website builder so it really reflects the consistency of your brand. Thanks very much for sticking with us. We got another episode for you next about managing pages. See y'all later.